All right, everybody, welcome back to Rarebus Photos. This is part two of, I believe, 47, um, of what I feel is one of the most comprehensive um, collections in the United States of Elvis Presley records. Um, you know, I've been a fan since I was two, and I know, I know there's fans out there that have been a fan for much longer. Um, you know, but I've bought a lot of records. Um, I have traded for a lot of records. And I just want to kind of show you what I have. Yesterday, you guys saw um, this, these 45s, which I've got stacked up over here. And then I'm going to show you some more records today. Uh, I'm enjoying seeing the comments. I've got to have to do a, a comment response video because uh, a lot of y'all are talking about the records you have and, and, and that you're enjoying the trip back through memory lane. So anyways, without much further ado, I'm going to get started. But please hit the like button, hit the share button on this video if you can. Uh, hit all notifications and become a member please uh, you know the Elvis song you've kind of heard in the background it's uh, it's gonna end up going to members only uh, in, a, in a little while and a lot of the ones I release are gonna be members only and then I will re release them uh, for the for the long haul after that uh, but it helps me it's $9.99 a month and if you can if you can consider doing that uh, somebody told me I just don't really ask about it enough and explain it but there are going to be members only perks and I want you guys to have it I want you to be the first to hear things first to see things uh, I will still of course release videos on this page just regular videos for everybody even that's not a member I, I, you know the, the whole um, the whole idea here is that Elvis's memory needs to be honored um, so let's get started um, and you know, if you don't, if you don't know how to hit the join button, it's on the bottom left hand side. So I started, um, it says join. I started yesterday, uh, showing some of these, these Danish records. So I'm going to go ahead and continue with that and uh, just pull them out so you can take a look at them. Elvis the King. This has got treat me nice and I got stung. Made in Denmark. Pretty dang cool. And you know, and they sound good. You know, they're good sounding records. Um we that door. I mean pretty dang cool. Uh very good sonic quality and a lot of times you don't see that with the records that are out there. So if you're looking at getting a set of these, I mean let's look around. They're made in Denmark. I believe it's a set of twelve is what they are. Um there's that one. Love this one, it's the Elvis Charo photo. Doesn't have char on it for a song. It has uh, trouble on some cowboy. I showed that one yesterday, so we'll uh, we'll get through this one a lot quicker. Um, and of course, I got. I'm gonna show some 45s, some some 33s, um, so y'all can see that as well. This one, Elvis the King. Picture of him holding that the double guitar there. This has got rip it up and so glad you're mine. Have a ball tonight. Going to rip it up. Elvis had a great tenor voice. And, you know, he could sing low as well, but his natural voice was tenor. Uh, I'm more of a baritone. It's difficult to sing the high stuff. As, as Elvis imitators that are out there can attest to, the power that Elvis had, the beautiful high notes that he had. Beautiful vibrato up there as well. It's a cool picture. I wish it wasn't in his forehead, though. You know, it's kind of, I guess they can't do much about that. One Night... One Night With You, When My Blue Moon Turns to Gold Again. That was always my favorite. I believe When My Blue Moon Turns to Gold Again was Elvis's first number one country hit. A little, little my blue moon turns to gold again. Yep, that's a great song. I'll be back within your arms to stay. Uh, little memories. Anyways, Elvis the King, another record from the Denmark series. Cool photo there, isn't it? That one's got Long Tall Sally. Have I told you lately that I love you? Um, very cool. I'm going to get on through these. I know y'all want to see some of the cool historical records, but I did want to... These just came in, and I, I really wanted to show them, show them off. Um, because there's a lot of you that have not seen these before, and that's the, that's the point. You know, um, something maybe you haven't seen before that gets mixed in with the ones you have that maybe you'd like to, to find out there. Fresh out of the army, GI Blues right there. But baby, I don't care, and I got a woman. Baby, I got care is actually what started this channel. I put a um, a version out there of me singing it, and um, it was on my. This used to be an insurance, a life insurance channel, and uh, I put out baby, I don't care, and it had like thirty thousand views. And um, I thought, well, you know what? Maybe people want to hear me sing some Elvis songs. So I put some more out there, had more. 
um, more views and stuff. And but then I really just decided to turn it into an Elvis channel about education uh, and talking about uh, people in his life, Priscilla and Jerry Schiller and stuff. Hard headed woman, hot dog. Now, hot dog is not a song that I have in my brain. Um, I have one of the songs that. Uh, let's see. Let's take a listen. Okay, now I got it. Yep. Yep. And I know, I know there's, there's some folks out there that every song that I play or say I don't have it in my mind to be able to sing it. Y'all know it. That's what I love about this channel. Um, you know, wonderful people that are on this channel that listen to it, that watch it. Uh, whether we agree or not on Priscilla, it doesn't matter. I know we agree on Elvis. Um, that's a great picture right there. <laughs> Funny place to have the, the thing, but uh, got a lot of living to do. One of my great, uh, great songs I love from uh, Kid Galahad, I believe, right? Well, I got a lot of living to do, a whole lot of loving to do, mama baby. Hmm, I don't know, maybe not. Uh, party, let's have a party. Um, it's a cool song there. That was on what, one of those records, uh, that I, well, not records, but cassette tapes I used to listen to when I was younger. I had a little Walkman cassette tape thing, and um, that was definitely... All right, we're getting close to the end of these uh, Denmark ones, and we'll move on to the next batch of records. This one, Elvis the King, has uh, Mean Woman Blues, and I Beg of You. All right, very cool. I think I might have showed that yesterday in my mind. I, I remember saying I Beg of You, and I believe Connie or somebody said that they loved uh, I Beg of You in the comments. Elvis the King. And I know Elvis didn't like being called the king, but everybody calls him the king, king of rock and roll. But uh, yeah, I think he understands or understood his place in music history but when it came to the kingship you know i like that song i wrote uh, there's only one king that's jesus blueberry hill one-sided love affair great song because i ain't for no one-sided love affair uh great song yep all right getting closer to the i guess i'll have to bring these two up here and get them get them done and we'll move on to maybe some 33s or maybe we'll go through some more 45s that's a great picture. Love that picture. Ready, Teddy. Ready, Teddy. Go, man, go. I got a gal that I love so. Ready. Ready, ready, ready. It's just way up there. Ready. I need you so. Oh, no. No. I need your love tonight. I don't think that's the song. I need your love tonight. Okay, nice ballad there. I'm going to listen to that later on. Uh, that I like that. That's actually got a good dynamic. And once again, you know, uh, being a country music singer, songwriter, you know, I listened to tons of records when I was a kid of Elvis. And then there's versions that have come out, other songs that have come out that I didn't have, I didn't have um, the ability to listen to when I was younger. And, and then being a singer, songwriter, I'm always singing my own songs or going out and doing shows and uh, not as much time to listen uh, and, and learn some of the songs that maybe I I forgot or maybe I just didn't get a chance to hear. King Creole and Dixieland Rock. I think I would have put a picture of uh, Elvis from the, the movie King Creole on there if you're going to have two, uh, two songs from it. Okay, so that's cool. So, uh, Made in Denmark. These are 45 RPM records i'm gonna go stick them over here and let's go ahead and let's pull some of these uh 33s down all right take a look now we already looked at the sun the sun i did a obviously did a review on this actual record so we, we're not going to go any further than that cool record though uh only a couple of other songs on it though um i guess i'll just put that right there uh this here is a uh Elvis 33 in shrink wrap I was the one. It's got uh, my baby left me. You're so square, baby. I don't care, little sister. Don't wear my ring around your neck. Paralyzed. All I gotta do is stand there. I'm paralyzed. It's a great song. Uh, baby, let's play house. I was the one. Rip it up. Young and beautiful. Ready, Teddy. Young and beautiful. Love that song. You're so young and beautiful, and I love you so. Beautiful song, and Elvis just, you know, just amazing. This good, 
such a pretty record in such great shape. 1983 is when this record, so we're talking 17, uh, 41 years. Um, so whoever owned this record took great care of it. They didn't skip it all over the place. Um, I'm not sure what the paper, look at the paper, just black, okay. All right, we'll get that back in there. All right, set that right there. That's a cool record, uh, 1983. Elvis, that's the way it is. Right here. We all know this record. Just can't help believing. I love that song. I love to sing that song. Um, I'll play a little sample. I'll try to drag it in and play a sample of it here just for a second of me doing it. But Elvis, nobody sing that song better than Elvis Presley. Nobody. Uh, 20 Days and 20 Nights, How the Web Was Woven. Great song. Uh, very emotional for him to sing. Patch It Up, Mary in the Morning. Once again, one of my favorite songs to sing. Glenn Campbell did that song. Um, you Don't Have to Say You Love Me. You've lost that love and feeling. I feel like he does it better than uh, the Righteous Brothers myself. I've lost you. Just pretend. Stranger in the crowd. The next step is love and bridge over troubled water, which I also feel like he does a better version than uh, Simon Garfunkel. Right? That's who it is. Um, the orange record there. Anyways, uh, some of these records are going to be pristine shapes. Some of them are not. Uh, I'm just pulling out from the stacks here. Um, in, in no certain order. Elvis is Frankie and Johnny. The soundtrack by Camden. Right there. Um, not one of my favorite movies. It just, just is not. I, I, I know we all have our favorite movies. But I, I just didn't feel like the songs were... There was enough great songs in the, in the movie for him to keep him interested. Uh, what Every Woman Lives For. Please Don't Stop Loving Me. Hard Luck. Now, Hard Luck is something we recognize. Come Along. Uh, Down By The Riverside When The Saints Go Marching In. Shattered Out. Beginner's Luck. Frankie and Johnny. Frankie and Johnny were lovers. Oh, Lord, how they could love. Yeah. Uh, Swore to be true to each other. Just as true as stars above. Anyways, uh, you know, it is it is what it is. I mean, it's just how it is. 1975 is that record. Um, that's a Pickwick version. All right, Elvis, the Canadian tribute. I've got sealed copies, which you'll probably see later on. Um, but pretty cool. Um, this record came out in 78, right after uh, Elvis passed away. Elvis toured Canada only once. The year was 57, and it's been rocking ever since. April 2nd, 57 was Toronto. April 3rd, 57 was Ottawa. And August 31st, 57 was Vancouver. Uh, let's see which record this one is. Let's pull that on out. The legend lives on. Elvis and the Jordanaires on stage. Elvis with Red Robbins in Vancouver. Elvis posing after interviews, number four. Elvis Maple Leaf Gardens, Toronto. Number five, Elvis' the second show at the Gardens. Number six, Elvis in Ottawa. Number seven, Elvis acknowledging the fans behind the stage. Number eight, Elvis in conversation with Whipper Billy Watson, World Heavyweight Champion, 1957. This is the yellow one, the gold version. Pretty cool, huh? I'm moving on, Snowbird, That's What You Get For Loving Me. Uh, Put Your Hand In The Hand. That's a great song, I love that. Little Darling, My Way. Jailhouse Rock. Let me be your teddy bear, loving you until it's time for you to go. Early morning rain, and then the Vancouver Press Conference. So, uh, there was photos. There was photos in here, which oh, I here we go. It's just the photos that they're talking about right there. I thought maybe it came with a photo set, um, but it doesn't. I'll play a little bit here. Songs for Sonic Quality here. <laughs> Anyways, beautiful record. It's a beautiful record, appearance wise, and it sounds really good. Um, I'll put it back in here. I'll put it back in the sleeve a little bit later on. All right, moving there. What else we got? Well, this is one of everybody's favorites. Elvis Aloha from Hawaii via satellite. This is the quadra disc, though. Uh, there's different versions of the record, and this happens to be the quadra disc. Um, and of course, we all remember what it looks like on the inside. All the different places that Elvis was beamed via satellite um, from Honolulu, Hawaii. Worldwide. First artist, first artist anywhere to be beamed uh, like that. Uh, and of course, you know, the records have these cool sleeves. 
little amount right there. Um, so let's go ahead and show those two. Quadra disc in good shape. Now perfect. Now I'm not perfect, but that's that's what sealed records are for. Or, but I mean, really, the very nice condition. Uh, I'm gonna stick this back in, and we'll talk about the songs in just a moment gonna slide them in so I can protect them as much as I can uh, maybe I'll do that uh, afterwards just to keep the video rolling um, no need to rush beautiful 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 gotta love Elvis Presley Aloha from from Hawaii we all remember the actual concert I'm just gonna do this for right now I will put them back in there um, we all know the song, C.C. C.C. Ryder, Burning Love, something, the, the Beatles song there, You Gave Me a Mountain, Steamroller Blues, My Way, Love Me, Johnny Be Good, It's Over, love that song, uh, Blue Suede Shoes, I'm So Lonesome I Could Cry, Can't Stop Loving You, Hound Dog, What Now My Love, another great song, I love that song, Fever, mm -hmm. Welcome to My World, Suspicious Minds, and then Introductions to the Band by Elvis, he loved to introduce his band and his background singers, uh, I'll Remember You, just I love that song. What a beautiful song. Uh, Long Tail Sally, whole lot of shaking going on. American Trilogy, a big hunk of love, and can't help falling in love. Um, so let's do this right real quick, and then I'll get on to the next record. I mean, in fact, I, well, I've got a few more 33s, and then I will go uh, do some of the, uh, the 45s. And maybe I'll show you guys some of what I got. Well, I'm going to probably just save these. I've got this box over here, right here that this is going to take a long time to get through i'll probably make that one video phenomenal collection one of the best i've seen ever uh condition wise and everything so let's get back on this here all right elvis the legend lives on have we seen this record pcs 1001 this was made in canada all right so it's a canadian import uh it's got uh side one uh elvis talks about his career Yesterday, Hey Jude Melody, uh, Medley. Introductions to the band, Happy Birthday to James Burton. In the Ghetto, Suspicious Minds. Side 2 has What I Say, Can't Help Falling in Love from Vegas in 1969. It's over, February 72. Big Hunk of Love from February 15, 72. It's Impossible, beautiful song. February 16, 72, The Impossible Dream. And Bridge Over Troubled Water that he recorded in Nashville. Got some great photos on it. Let's go ahead and pull this out. Take a look at it. Not much to see with the actual sleeve, but that's what it looks like right there. Let's see here. Let's put this on here for a second. All right, put it on 33. Elvis talks about his career. So, um, I hate when I do that. This record player, there drops a little abruptly. There we go. <laughs> so they took the dog out of the room to protect it from me, you know. And uh, <laughs> I love that. Brock and uh, uh, King Creole. I did, I, I did four pictures. So pretty cool. You know, if you want to hear Elvis talking, I, I clean this record up here and, you know, it's just got some dust and stuff on it. You know, it'll, you can see there's no scratches on it. Uh, it'll clean up great. One thing I probably need, need to do is buy one of those Sonic cleaners. But it's, you know, it's three fifty four hundred dollars and money does not grow on trees. Um, but, but I will eventually, and then these records will shine up great. Great record. Um, great material on there. The All right, so let's go ahead and restart this. This is Camden, uh, CAS 2533. My phone battery died, so I have to uh, just review a few more of these records and, uh, and then uh, send you all on your merry way today. Uh, thanks for sticking with me. I got lucky. Got some great songs here. I got lucky. Uh, from Kid Galahad, one of my favorite movies. Um, probably my favorite. What a Wonderful Life from Follow That Dream. I Need Someone to Lean On. Viva Las Vegas. Yoga is as yoga does. Easy come, easy go. Remember that? Uh, he was doing a little thingy like that. Uh, riding the Rainbow. I'm riding the rainbow. Oh, to paradise. I guess. Love, love that song. Um, Fools Fall in Love. 
Uh, side two, The Love Machine, Home is Where the Heart Is, another great song from um, Kid Galahad. Home is where the heart is, and my heart is anywhere you are, anywhere. What a great, anywhere you are is home. I don't need a Rolling Stone. No, I don't need a mansion. Anyways, what a great song. Go listen to that song. Listen to Homer's Where the Heart Is. What a wonderful song with a wonderful voice. Elvis just sang with such emotion. Um, you got to stop. Uh, some of y'all saying you got to stop singing. Uh, if you don't think, if you think I don't need you from Viva Las Vegas. Uh, and uh, what the, the record looks like. It's a good looking little record. Nice and shiny, some little little teeny little scuppy scuppies, just little scratches, but it doesn't make a difference in, in how this record sounds. All right, let's move it on. Uh, Elvis, and of course, this did not have, this had the, the shrink wrap on it, and when I did the video the first time and I thought it was still recording, I did stick this nice little, screw, this little sleeve on it to protect it even more. Um, great, great movie. I really enjoyed this movie. Look how great Elvis looks there. Okay. Him and Nancy Sinatra. Um, she sings your groovy self on it. There's you got uh, Speedway. Ain't nothing like a song. Your time hasn't come yet, baby. Who are you? He's your uncle, not your dad. Let yourself go. Great song there. Your groovy self. Then five, plus five bonus songs. Five Sleepy Heads. Western Union. Mine. Going Home. And Suppose. Um... Got Bill Bixby in this as well. As well, we all know him from, I believe, The Incredible Hulk. Um, anyways, the records there. Got a cool little advertisement of uh, all the other records that are out there at this point in time, and the record is almost pristine. Beautiful looking record. Now, what I like to do is I like to slip it back here in the actual well actually i'm not going to do that because this has got shrink wrap i'm going to put it back in the actual record album if it doesn't have shrink wrap i like to kind of stick it behind the other plastic sleeve here you know what i'm saying to kind of keep the record protected but that'll protect the shrink wrap, shrink wrap and the record same thing with this one here it happened at the world's fair uh i stuck a sleeve on this during the first video that i thought i was recording lpm 2697 and you can see it on the back here uh what a great looking sleeve original sleeve Let's take a gander at that beautiful looking uh back of the cover beyond the bend relax take me to the fair they remind me too much of you which we've we heard on um one of these uh there's 45 singles on that first first record maybe it is right there maybe yeah so that's the companion or the maybe the preview of the actual 33. Um, one broken heart for sale. One broken heart for sale. Great song. Uh, Falling in love tonight. Cotton candy land. A world of our own. How would you like to be? And happy ending. Uh, here's the record here. And I'm, I'm we're going to the fair tonight. A little scratchy, scratchy looking. See it on the scratchy side. But as you can tell, I'll play a little bit of it. It sounds great. You can get scratchy records and still have them sound great. Uh, that is. See? Sandman. <laughs> okay. I thought for a second we might have had some little operatic singer. That's uh, not. That's That was Elvis singing too fast like a chipmunk. There we go. Beautiful voice. Beautiful Elvis. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And remind me too much of you. I think that's a world of our own right there. I believe. Or how would you like to be, maybe? Anyhow, it, you know, it's a little scratchy looking, but the record sounds great, doesn't it? So don't be afraid. Now, you want to avoid records that have deep, deep, deep gouges. But, um, anyhow, let's stick this in here. It's, well, it's shrink wrap. There we go. This one will. All right, what we got now? We got Elvis, the first live recordings, never before released, by Music Works. By Music Works. And as you can tell, I did the same thing. I stuck this in the sleeve on that first time around because I thought it was recording. 
Um, maybe that'll be the last time I mention that, but I, I spend a, a good amount of time talking to myself instead of having it being recorded. Um, oh, so this one here, uh, Dallas had his big D jamboree, Elvis had his town hall party, and of course Nashville had his Grand Ole Opry, but none of these country caravans had a more formative e effect on American uh, music than Shreveport's Louisiana Hayride. So let's talk about that. This one has an introduction with Elvis Presley and Horace Logan. I want to play house with you. Uh, Maybelline, Tweedledee, Side B's got That's All Right Mama, not spelled right, it needs to be M-A-M-A. -M -A. Um, Recollections by Frank Page, Hound Dog. And you can see it's a cool looking little, little cover there. And then you've got, come on, quit sliding down there. All right, then you got this, you got the record. Uh, let me see here. Introduction with Elvis. Let's play a little tidbit of that. And we won't have it on 45 speed this time. I'm gonna bring out the Memphis Flash now. Elvis Presley, the name. And they screamed, didn't they? Wanted to see if you're all set for a week of personal appearance. All right, let's see what Elvis says. Tell me what is Miss Logan? Yeah, I sure am. I heard that's you. I mean, that's, that's good. Me and Brian. So, you know, if you're, if you're wanting to hear kind of the original sound of that, that's, what you're, that's where you're going to find it on this record. Um, the um, Elvis, the first live recordings. I think this was 82. No, yeah, 1982. The Jerry Wilson Group put this out. Hmm. Wish we had Elvis with us in 82. Wish we still had him with us. Um, this is uh, Un Homage à Roy du Rock and Roll. Uh, 40 plus grand success. I don't know. I don't know how to speak French. Le Doy, Le Roy du Rock and Roll. Maybe I'm saying it right. Maybe I'm not. KTL International. Uh, I speak not a very good of French. And no, I don't. Uh, um, this is a cool little double record. Got Elvis there. Les Dufferons disagrees du Roy au Rock and Roll. I don't know. Share us, fans. Anyways, I'm going to quit embarrassing myself with my bad French reading. That probably is in no way the way it's supposed to sound. Well, you can see a little French message there. Um, you got the records inside, which are, look like this. So they're just white sleeves. But the record is a pleasant looking record. Hound Dog, Don't Be Cruel, Rip It Up, I'll Shook Up, Mean Woman Blues. I found my thrill. Home, Blueberry Hill. Great song. One Night, Loving You, Treat Me Nice, Baby, I Don't Care. Uh, I found my thrill, baby, on Blueberry Hill. Uh, Heartbreak Hotel, Mystery Train, Good Rock in the Night. Well, I heard the news. And he goes way higher. Uh, I'm not going to attempt it. Uh, Money, Honey, I uh, Got a Woman, My Baby Left Me, Tutti Fruity. Shake, Rattle, and Roll, Too Much, Ready, Teddy. You know, Elvis had a wonderful voice. Yeah, oh, uh, throughout the different generations of Elvis, the 50s Elvis, the 60s Elvis, the 70s Elvis, he had a different timbre, a different vibrato um, uh, in those different time periods. And, of course, the early Elvis was very, very tenery, very, very, very high. Um, and I don't want to say nasally, but, you know, that he, he definitely had more of a saying a little bit more through his nose during that time period. Uh, very hard to... Um, I even come moderately close to his stylings, the stylings and stuff, and the tone. The tone was so different um, back then. The 60s and 70s Elvis was impersonated more because he was a little more controlled and round vibrato. Um, this is dirty, needs to be cleaned up. <sighs> Dusty. Blue suede shoes, I feel so bad, great song. Feel so bad, just do 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 do. His latest flame, <laughs> Marie's the name. Uh, little Sister, Good Luck Charm, Return to Cinder, Return, yeah, Return, Bossa Nova Baby, uh, Priscilla Song, Devil in Disguise, Blue River, from Double Trouble, Jailhouse Rock, <laughs> Won't You Wear My Ring, Up Around Your Neck, great song, uh, Trouble, we all know that one, If You're Looking for Trouble, uh, King Creole, Need Your Love Tonight, uh, Ain't That Loving You Baby, I Got Stung, Stuck on You, Mesa Blues, great song, Mesa Blues is a great song, uh, for his vocal stylings from 1960. All right, so there's that one. Um, I'll probably stick a, a sleeve on this one. Maybe I won't. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Uh, I wish I could speak French, but I can't. Depends on how easy that slides in. All right, good enough on that one. All right, so I did pull a little pile of 45s. I'll go over those real quick, and that'll finish this video up. So let's get on that. Elvis Presley, Lonely Man, Surrender.
That's the 47-7850. Surrender, what a beautiful song. And then Lonely Man. Um, play a little of that. That's why I had it still on 45 and now this will sound like a chipmunk. So, I mean, you know, the, the song itself, Lonely Man, it's all right. You know, certainly wasn't... Uh, wasn't surrender worthy but a lot of the, a lot of those times you put a phenomenal song with a song that maybe is not going to do anything on the charts um and you know that's not elvis is doing elvis would have put a great song out every single song if he could that was the colonel elvis sings do the clam oh we know that's a great song isn't it not really uh elvis you'll be gone now that's a pretty song um that's definitely a good song cool little sleep here Looks like it's in, the record's in decent shape. 47-8500. Gladys Music. Now that there is why you see Gladys Music everywhere. That's why Elvis didn't have the greatest songs. Because um, the Colonel Parker knew that uh, if he could control the publishing, he could make all the money on it. And so he refused to do songs that he didn't get, get full publishing on. Elvis, that's someone you'll never forget. Ask for the Double Trouble LP album. Long-legged girl with a short dress on and Double Trouble. Right there. And then, uh, you see how this is dirty looking? It don't really matter. They, they still play being dirty looking, and they still sound good. Let me get this thing right. Back right there. Yeah. You never forget. So that's pretty sounding there. Now, the interesting thing is that this is an error. That was supposed to be long-legged girl. If I turn it around and stick it on that someone you'll never forget, then all of a sudden on this kind of dirtier side, and I'm going to show you, we have long-legged girl with a short dress on, a red dress on. So that's something that's rare. It is put on there wrong. They put it on there backwards. Um, and I got to remember that. In fact, I just have to remember my memory. Not that it matters much, but for me, it's kind of cool. Uh, Elvis sings Spin Out. What a great sleeve, right? Ask for Elvis' Spin Out album. All That I Am. 47-8941. See this scratch there? Don't be afraid of scratches that look like that. Let me see if bring it closer. Because it's still going to play great. All That I Am right there. I'm going to play it right on there. Let me get the... In your hands. Can't even hear it. You are not a single, not a single tick from that scratch. Okay, so don't be afraid if you see something at a thrift store or something like that, um, or a relative gives you one. All right, the very last one. This is very cool. I saved this for last. This is Elvis Presley's. Uh, was only given out at shows. Okay, this was only handed out at the 1970 Las Vegas show. And that's the Elvis's uh, I've Lost You. And the next step is love. So what are we waiting for? Uh, I've Lost You is my, my favorite song of those two. But that's still a great song. Recorded June 1970. Little advertising on the back. 50 Golden Hits is originally recorded. Soon sold at record stores everywhere. And uh, it's the orange record here. And this, this is in amazing shape. Look how beautiful that is. See the little... The shiny on it. 1970. We're talking 30 plus 24 is 54 years. Um, just amazing. I mean, whoever had that, they got it at a show. God bless them. I don't know whether they passed away and family just sold it and I happened to get it. Um, but they took care of it. And that is what we need to do. Uh, we need to take care of Elvis. We need to take care of the Elvis records that we have, the memories that we have, uh, and take care of each other. Um, and, you know, I'm going to ask again, please, if you can become a member, please uh, consider just hitting that join button, $9.99 a month, you know. If it's something in your budget that you can afford, please do that. If you can't, obviously continue watching these videos. I'm going to do members-only videos to reward those that can. Uh, and then I will eventually release those. So everybody else that couldn't do their members-only will get to see them. But um, I, I, my wish is that you will. Um, because you see how much time and energy and effort and money I put into Elvis. Um, so TCB TLC, till next time, this is Rare Elvis Photos. Hit the join button. It's below there, down there, that left. Hit it, click, 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 click. And, uh, and you'll start seeing some members-only videos.
videos. And thank you to the members that I do have. You know, uh, I'm holding my heart right now. You can't see it because I'm showing Elvis. Um, but I appreciate it. And you guys, uh, um, I appreciate the sacrifice you guys make for this channel. And for everybody that loves Elvis and protects him out there, I appreciate you. All right. Till next time, this is Rare Elvis Photos. Enjoy this video, share it around, and look forward to part three tomorrow. It is pouring down rain here in Tennessee. I just got uh, back from uh, posting the Elvis video. And uh, check it out. Looks like I was uh, spending my time well instead of being stuck in this rain. Our pretty tree right there.